Are you looking for starting your own podcast and you're looking for podcast hosting platforms that like, okay, which one should I use? In this video, I'm going to share with you a few reasons why you shouldn't use Anchor. This is just like my opinion. I'm not paid by the competitors to say, oh my God, you should definitely use Podbean and Buzzsprout. Yes, I recommend those, but I'm not paid by them. I think they're just really good, really good alternatives to Anchor. Now, there are specific situations in which I would recommend using Anchor and I would talk about it first, then I will go to disadvantages because there are some reasons where I would recommend using Anchor, but there are not so many. And I believe that uh, in most of the situations you shouldn't use it. So let's just start and let me show you. Now, when it would come to the Anchor and features, they have good features, but in what situation I would actually recommend using it? The first one is that if you're just like literally starting out, it's completely for free. So it's like, okay, I don't have to pay anything using Anchor. That's a huge advantage, but there comes also disadvantage with features and everything. If I'm just starting out, I don't even have mic. Like, I don't know if what is like, I heard last week podcast and I want to start my own podcast a week later. Anchor is a good choice to get into the world. So like, okay, to test the waters. In that regard, Anchor is amazing. Also, if you are cheap and you don't have a budget, in that regard, Anchor is amazing too. But what are some disadvantages? The first disadvantage that I have here, let me show you, is that they don't really have good customer service. If you can have problems, uh, you won't be able to get a help only because it's a free platform. So therefore, comparing to Podbean, customer service or Buzzsprout uh, is like comparing to those non-existent. Same with uh, educational materials, which Buzzsprout is completely dominating Anchor. That's another thing. Then it's like analytics of Anchor are really limited. Yes, you will have analytics, but comparing to others, it's not that complex. Uh, then you have like monetization here which is pretty good, but comparing to others in which you can have like limited episodes for people who just sponsor you, then you have like donations in a red circle. You don't have something like an anchor. And like mainly that yes, you have that uh, they can donate you monthly, but with a subscription of limited episodes that only the subscri subscribers would have, you don't have it. Then to go even further, uh, they have uploaded a compressed audio file, so that's something you should definitely keep in mind. And they look at the quality comparing to Anchor, Buzzsprout and Podbean. Then we have here uh, limited features, as I mentioned. And my recommendation is if you want to really like use Anchor, don't use it uh, for... Don't use it uh, for editing your audio. Use Audacity, which is a free program for editing audio or something like that. They will be much, much more effective. So <clears throat> this is something that I would recommend. Anchor is good if you're just only testing the waters. If you want to go big, if you want to grow your podcast and you know that you have some kind of traffic, use Buzzsprout, use Podbean, use Red Circle, don't use Anchor. Now, when you would come here to the pricing plans of like Buzzsprout, you see that it's not free. Yes, they have free account, but it's limited upload two hours each month and you can episode host it for 90 days. With Podbean, on the other hand, when you come here, again, they have free, but you can have storage space about five hours total. Here on unlimited audio is nine bucks and you got covered everything. So it's even better comparing to Buzzsprout. So you can actually test it out, learn and see if you like those. But this is pretty much it. This is just like my a review of those uh, programs too. There are good alternatives that you can use. I didn't want to be negative in this video. Anchor is an all right tool, but it's nothing fancy. There are even more disadvantages if you would like look deeper, if you want to use it with mobile, um, if like the system is going to lag and uh, the distribution of Buzzsprout and podcast on Podbean is just much better comparing to Anchor. But this just is my perspective. You do you, you choose you which one you want. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.